Greetings YouTube. I apologize for the fans, however it's very warm here. We're looking forward to a heat wave this week. I, I'm not I'm not looking forward to it so much. So as the title of the video says, I'm interested in hearing what people's superstitions are around their dice. Dice are very important to most gamers. Most games use some form of dice. Um, some, I mean, there's there are ones out there that are diceless. I've never played a diceless game. Um, uh, I love my dice. I don't like to roll too many of them. For example, I don't want to have to roll an entire handful of dice to find if I'm using some ability. So I'm not so much a fan of dice pools or of some of the high level spells like you find in D and D. But I can remember, you know, high level casters back in you know back in the day having to literally cup d sixes in their hand to roll a fireball or something. Um, and that's a little excessive, but I do enjoy the aspect of rolling dice, and my favorite side type of die would be the 12. Um, I just happen to really love the shape. Um, there's just something about, you know, the five-sided shapes on these that just make me, re make me very happy. Um, and I have an 8! Um, and, of course, there's the d20, which is my favorite mechanic. Um, from my favorite system. Um, and uh, this one, I've often wanted to get another one of these things and make myself a scepter. I think I, th I think every GM deserves a scepter. And if you're going to have a scepter, there is no better thing to put at the top of it than a D20. <coughs> Clunk. I didn't really roll that thing. It's way too heavy to roll on my desk. Uh, it's the kind of thing you have to roll on a carpet. It's just very loud. Um, so I want to know, what are the superstitions that you have around dice. I can't say I have a, too many superstitions, but the classic thing like, don't touch my dice. They're my dice. Don't touch my dice. Um, in particular, I used to use a set of two 10-sided um, dice, a green one and a red one. They were translucent. I still have them. They're just in my in a box somewhere. Um, that I used to use for rolling percentiles, and I used, a lot, used them a lot in the third edition of Gamma World. That was the one with the, the color chart from the Marvel Superheroes um, game, very similar to that. Uh, and I used you know, percentiles constantly in that game, and those were my percentile dice. And I didn't want anybody touching my dice. You keep your hands off my dice. Um, other than that, I never had a problem loaning my dice to people, for the most part. You know, other than the specific ones I said, no, those are mine. Because uh, I had a lot of dice. We all had a lot of dice. Um, or most of us did. I did encounter a few gamers that didn't have a lot of dice because they were casual gamers or because they just couldn't afford to have a lot of dice. But I mean, I've got, I mean, if you look on the shelf behind me, just to the uh, to the right of that skull, that whole section up there is, is nothing but, uh, shoot, you can't see it. I'm sorry, let me just bring that up. There you go. Just the right of that skull, those are all dice. All dice. Um, just stuff I've collected over the years, and that's that's not even my entire collection. I really need to do a video about dice. Uh, so, oh, well, actually, that, that camera didn't go back to where I wanted it. I don't know. Figure it out. Um, so, tell me, what are your superstitions around dice? Every gamer's got some, um, and I want to know what they are. 